Oh, Joan, we're having a party. Bring Herbie. I said, Herbie died. They're like, well, bring him. We'll prop him. You know? <laughs> Is it true? How many, any single women out there my age? Single women? Any, any single women? Yeah, right? There's a lot of us, right? I'm telling you, it is a man's world. It is still a man's world, am I right? Yeah. I mean, a guy could be 103 with boogers, bad breath. Uh, he could be able to oxygen tank and a walker, a uh, hearing aid, uh, you know, half blind, drooling. But if he is single, he's a catch, right? It is a man's world. It definitely is still, 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 yes. <laughs> anyway, but I was I, I was very excited because when I was in Miami, I actually got a date, and you know you never know who's gonna show up. Oh my God! <gasps> I opened up my my door to my hotel, and, and I looked down. I said, "Ooh, what nice alligator shoes!" He was barefoot. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy was so old. His walker had airbags. Okay, <laughs> at the end of the night, went to give me a hickey, left his teeth in my neck. <laughs> I'm telling you, you will never know what's gonna show up, but actually, I prefer older men. I really do. I don't wanna be like Cher. I mean, Cher likes him young. She cruises Toys R Us. Well, not anymore. She's very upset they closed it. Her favorite pickup joint, yeah. I mean, I don't wanna wake up in the morning and say, ooh, did I get lucky or did I give birth? You know what I mean? I like older guys. They have so many perks. Older guys, first of all, they take you out on vacation. They always take you to those rooms, the handicap rooms. I love them. That bathrooms have bars all over them. I just close myself in and do Pilates. Really, I love it. And, and I love, you know, there's an advantage to getting intimate with an older guy too. Yeah, I consider it a free bone density test. I figure by the time everything's done, if I can stand up and nothing's broken, I'm doing pretty good. Right? I love older men. They are the best. Absolutely the best. And, you know, but you have to be careful. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen. One guy showed up and he said to me, Joan, you're very special. I'm going to take you to meet my family. He took me to the cemetery. <laughs> read about this, but I was in Le Cirque restaurant. Any New Yorkers here? New Yorkers where the Manhattan is? Yeah. So you know Le Cirque, right? Very she-she. And we're sitting there in the middle of Man Manhattan at Le Cirque, having a fabulous dinner with this older rich guy, and I look over and he goes, uh, and he died. <laughs> he died, people! Oh my God, but you know New Yorkers right away, they rallied around us, and the first thing they asked was, is there an apartment available? <laughs> Yes, yes, and the worst part, the worst part, people, I had to sneak into his jacket to get the American Express card. You don't think I'm gonna pay, there's no future there, am I right? Oh, come on. Yes, you gotta marry rich, ladies, you gotta marry rich. If you marry a second time, don't marry for love. Oh, please. First wives, oh, I love him, I love him, doctor, I love him. I'm sorry, Mrs. Stein, but he looks like he's gonna have a, a heart attack again. He's got a very bad heart. Doctor, what can I do? I'll sell my furs, I'll, I'll sell the yacht, I'll sell the second and third homes, I'll sell my jewelry, anything, just please save him. That's a first wife, they marry for love. Second wife, Mrs. Stein, I'm so sorry. Your husband's heart, very bad. It looks like he's gonna have another heart attack. She, first chance she gets, she stands behind him and goes, boo! <laughs> Am I right? Second wife, don't marry for money, ladies. Don't marry for love. I spit on. Smartest woman I know, Jackie Onassis. Remember Jackie Onassis? <gasps>